Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher C, and welcome to this audio summary. No diagrams, no explanations, just me reading anatomy to you. In this video, we'll cover the lumbar plexus, including the major branches, their roots, their motor function, and their sensory function. Finally, we'll discuss their organization into anterior and posterior divisions and the positions relative to muscles. The lumbar plexus is formed from the anterior rami of L1 to L4 and receives a contribution from T12. It can be found on the posterior abdominal wall. It has six main output nerves, the iliohypogastric, the ilioinguinal, the genital femoral, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, the obturator, and the femoral. Examining each individual nerve, starting with the first nerve, which is the iliohypogastric, from nerve root L1. Its motor function is to supply the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. Its sensory function is to the skin of the lateral gluteal region and the hypogastric region. The second nerve is the ilioinguinal, from nerve root L1. Its motor function is also to supply the internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. Its sensory function is to the skin of the upper medial thigh, and in the male, the root of the penis and upper scrotum. In the female, the mons pubis and the labium magus. The third root is the genital femoral, with nerve roots from L1 and L2. It has two branches, the genital and the femoral, and we'll discuss the genital branch first. Its motor function in the males is to cremaster muscle, which raises and lowers the testes. There's no motor function in females. It supplies sensation in the male to the root of the penis and the upper scrotum, and the female, the mons pubis and the labium magus. The femoral branch has no motor function and supplies sensation to the skin of the upper anterior thigh. The fourth nerve is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh from nerve roots L2 and L3. It has no motor function. Its sensory function is to the skin of the lateral thigh and some on the posterior side. The fifth nerve is the obturator from nerve roots L2, L3, and L4. Its motor function is to obturator internus, pectineus, and the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh. Those are gracilis and three adductor muscles, adductor brevis, adductor longus, and adductor magnus. Its sensory function is to the skin on the medial thigh. The sixth nerve is the femoral nerve. The nerve roots are L2, L3, and L4 and its motor supply is the iliacus, pectineus, and the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh. Those are sartorius, rectus femoris, and the three vastus muscles. Those are vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. And together with rectus femoris, these form the quadriceps femoris muscle. Its sensory function is the skin on the anterior thigh and the medial surface of the leg, lower down. Finally, it gives sensation to the hip and the knee joint. In addition to these major nerves, there are some short, direct nerves which are given off by the plexus, supplying nearby structures. They supply psoas major, psoas minor, and quadratus lumborum. The lumbar plexus is sometimes divided into the anterior and posterior divisions. And from the posterior division, we get the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the femoral nerve. The other nerves are from the anterior division. To help you remember the nerves of the lumbar plexus, a mnemonic used by some people is, I twice get lunch on Fridays. This is I twice for iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal. G for genital femoral, L for lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, O for obturator, and F for femoral. To help you remember the nerve roots, there is another saying, two from one, two from two, and two from three. That is to say, the first two nerves 
have one nerve root. The second two nerves have two nerve roots, and the final two nerves come from three nerve roots. In relation to the lumbar plexus, but not part of it, above we have the subcostal nerve from T12, and below we have the lumbosacral trunk from nerve roots L4 and L5, which contribute to the sacral plexus. When attempting to find the output nerves of the lumbar plexus, there is a rule. All of the nerves can be found lateral to psoas major apart from two exceptions. And so we say most nerves go lateral apart from go. That is G for genitofemoral, that's found anteriorly, and O for obturator, and that is found medially. That's all. Thank you and see you next time.